I'll give you 40 bucks. Really? Yep. Just give me one quick sec to confer with my associate. Yes, I think that will do. Sue, hang on. I saw this exact safe on Storage Wars, and when they opened it up, there was a ton of money inside. No, Brick. We gotta quit while we're ahead, like the smart ones do on Deal or No Deal. Look, $40 isn't gonna change Mom's life, but $40,000 could. There might be powered doubloons in there. What do you say, Sue? Do you want to let it ride? You know, Rick, uh, according to my research, President Ford was in Indianapolis in 1974 trying to help Senator Luger get elected. So you see, that has a real historical significance. I don't know. Guys, you really can't make out the signature. There's no way to know who this belonged to. And I'm pretty sure the president wasn't renting an AMC Gremlin. But I like you kids. So how about me giving you 20 bucks for this? Um, we're gonna need a sidebar. It's clearly not worth anything, so let's just take the $20, which is what we started with, and cut our losses. Brick, think about it. If that wasn't the president's signature, he wouldn't be offering us anything at all. Obviously, he thinks it's worth way more. He's just trying to lowball us. Rick, we think we can do better. Sorry, we're walking away. Did you see Rick's face? He totally knew what this thing was worth. Of course he did. But we're gonna have the last laugh when this thing is at the Smithsonian and we're living in a mansion in Orson Heights. <laughs> Although, the L in Gerald kinda looks more like an R, and the O in Ford kinda looks more like a U. In which case, we have the 1974 rental car receipt of some guy named... Gerard Ford. Rick, we feel we have a long-standing business relationship with you, and it's not just about the money, so... We'll take the 20. Yeah. I'll give you 10. What? You offered us 20 before. Okay, nine. Wait, you can't just lower your offer. Seven. Sell, sell, sell. All right, all right, all right, we'll take a seven. Sake.